Tamam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Simata Bhakti Vedanta Swamiti Namine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavari Paskatyaji Satarine Jaya Sri Krishna Shedanya Some of you it has blood, sweat and tears in the sense that you underwent uh, important transformations. Some of you told me this was the best time in my life. Others told me I died many deaths on this summer camp in the sense of having such uh, seeing a mirror uh, before my eyes and seeing Oh, there are some things to be corrected still. So, uh, I was requested to give you a message uh, home. My message is, try to keep the spirit which you have absorbed in the summer camp uh, and develop it further. Let us not use uh, these four days uh, like an ignorant person who tries to carry uh, water in his hands and loses the water very quickly. In other words, if we do not come out of the summer camp with a firm resolution uh, to make to apply what we have learned in our Krishna conscious life, we might lose the beautiful atmosphere and the beautiful realizations when we go into our daily lives and meet the challenges which are waiting there for us. Our own weaknesses maybe, our mm, just different people who drive us mad. Uh, circumstances which are not exactly the way we would like them to be. All these things can uh, be a cause for losing our inspiration if we do not keep the spirit, uh, if we are like people who uh, hope to carry water in these hands, you know, it doesn't work like this. So uh, I want to talk for a few minutes on just some ways how to keep an inspiration and uh, how to enhance it, how to make it bigger so that it can really be of use for our life. The very first principle really is that we must be prepared to transform our heart. Do you know what is the most important word in Krishna consciousness? Mm, describing what is happening. It's a transformation of the consciousness. Mm, the books of Srila Prabhupada are not so much for info information, but they are for transformation. Something is expected to happen in us. I would like to illustrate this point with a little story. 
Once there was a river who flowed and came to a desert. When he came to the desert, he lost itself in the sand. He tried to gather more force. I want to cross this desert. But no matter how he tried, he always lost himself in the sand. Uh, I don't know the English word, but I think you know, when water runs into sand, it disappears. So it was praying, how can I cross this desert? One day, the air came. My dear river, I see that you are losing your battle in life. I know how you can cross the desert. You have to transform yourself. You have to become a cloud. And I will carry you over the desert. Transform myself? Said the river. I try on my own, the way I am. And again ran to the desert and lost itself. Finally, he saw, yes, I have to transform myself. The air carried him upwards to a cloud, uh, or the wind carried him upwards to a cloud and blew him over the desert and on the other side of the desert he rained down <laughs> and it became a beautiful flowing river uh, flowing to the ocean. So in the same way, we will all now come to our private deserts. <laughs> To someone, but for someone the desert is the school or the job. For someone the desert is uh, his own problematic existence in this world. For someone the desert is an unsolved relationship. Uh, there are many deserts. For others the desert is just the desert of the heart, the dryness in the heart. Um, we can cross it very easily, the desert, if we are prepared to transform ourselves. Now, uh, by the mercy of the Acharyas and our Sampradaya, um, we have been handed the process how to do this. Transformation process is there. Srila Prabhupada has given this to us, and there are really five important uh, principles. The first is chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra in full attention. The second principle is to read daily in the scriptures Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, Ishopanishad, Chaitanya Chaitamrita, Nectar of Devotion. The third principle is proper association with devotees or saintly-minded people. The fourth principle is mm, uh, to eat prasadam. Uh, the fifth principle is to make our home uh, a place of worship. Mm, and the sixth principle, well, this is the fifth principle. So these things, if we apply them in our jivotskis, our lives, uh, they will help us to transform. By chanting every day, our mind becomes focused on Krishna. By reading every day in the scriptures, we will remember Krishna and see the world according to the eyes of knowledge. By uh, being together with devotees, visiting temples, inviting devotees to the temples, uh, we will feel how practical spiritual life is, and we will feel the encouragement. By eating prasada, ah, uh, you know what happens, I don't know, need to explain this point. And by worshipping uh, at, uh, at the house, making, this morning we explained a little ceremony, just having a little altar and just offering the Lord a flower or a uh, some water, what we cook, hmm? uh, then we 
can transform our heart and we will surely cross the desert of material existence by the Lord's mercy. So, in summary, uh, uh, I've learned something from uh, Sri Maharaj. <laughs> In summary, we want to keep the inspiration alive and we will be able to do this by transforming our heart. We will be able to cross our private deserts by a transformation. Um, this transformation is really possible if we start to chant regularly our fixed number of rounds, whatever it is. Um, reading every day in Srila Prabhupada's books, uh, associating with devotees, eating prasadam, huh? and worshipping the Lord in our lives. This will help us to keep the, the inspiration which, which we got. You don't know what you got. You have no idea what gifts have been presented to you. I also not. Uh, you have, you have uh, loads full or, or cars full or hearts full, so let's say, huh? A hearts full of presents. Now just please go home, huh? And one after the others unpack these pre presents uh, by transforming your heart. Then you will be able to see the nectarine presence which you have been gotten. Living in the Vrajava Summer Camp Ki. Go, Premanandi. Hare Hare.